Alex Clare Young. My pronouns are they, them, or simply my name, and I am delighted to be a patron of the Open Table Network. I first engaged with Open Table back when I was a teenager, searching for safer, braver spaces to be trans and Christian. I attended Open Table Liverpool, where I encountered a faith community meeting around a table in genuine kinship and community. I only attended a few times and yet felt part of the body. That more than welcome for me is what is at the heart of what Open Table can offer. Shortly before the global pandemic, Kieran invited me to become a founding trustee of the Open Table Network, which would support Open Table communities and grow many new communities too. I was then invited by my wonderful colleague Sarah Hobbs to join her as co-chair of the trustees. The role stretched and formed me and was a key part of my development into a public queer theologian. I am now a minister, academic and activist working for change in the church and in public life. That journey and the new opportunities that came with it meant that when my term as trustee concluded at the beginning of 2024, it was time for a new relationship between me and the network. I was surprised and honoured when Sarah suggested that I be invited to become a patron of the network. For me, Open Table is all about finding expansive and transformative ways to be the body of Christ in communities of trust and of growth. As a queer theorist, I'm always keen to point out that LGBTQ plus spaces must never enact a new normal, yet another fixed, rigid way of being. I believe that the challenge and opportunity for Open Table, as it increasingly becomes a nationwide network, is to grow in diversity and flexibility, enabling creativity and encouraging change. And I believe that we are up to that challenge. It is one that I will continue to remind the charity of as I support them in this new way. In the final months of my trusteeship, I became a wheelchair user as a result of my lifelong disability. I mention this because it furthered my passion for and need of open table communities. Yes, these are communities shaped around the experiences, needs, gifts and desires of LGBTQ plus folks, and yet they become so much more. They are spaces in which no person risks unwanted prayer for healing or a sense of othering when they can't or won't stand to sing. They are spaces where we are each valued exactly as we are, not as some institution wishes us to be. They are spaces for each individual to belong together. May it be so. May it be true. May it be now. <laughs>